As of now, we thankfully do not have reason to believe that these involved students were planning any sort of attack. A local high school locked down after three students were found with two guns and several rounds of ammunition on campus. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Tomorrow, when students arrive at Hempfield Area High School, they'll be wanted as an extra security measure. The district is also considering bringing in temporary metal detectors. KDK's Alexandra Todd is at the school with the latest on this tonight. Alexandra. Hemfield Area High School was on lockdown from 1140 a.m. today up until 3 p.m. due to students reporting that they saw other students witnessing a transaction of firearms. Those students told their administrators who then informed school resource officers. The officers conducted a search of backpacks and recovered two handguns. Extremely scary when I found out that there was two guns found. Um, one was loaded with an extra magazine. Um, so on the other hand, what would they have done if there was a mass casualty? According to state police, one student brought both guns to school with him, gave one student a gun on the bus ride to school, then allegedly gave a third student the second weapon in a school bathroom. Police are still investigating how the student came in possession of the weapons. Both gun transactions were witnessed by other students and the guns were found to be loaded. Numerous rounds of ammunition were found as well. One gun was a 380 and another was a 22. Police said there was not evidence of malicious intent. Instead, the school was just a place to exchange the firearms. The Hemfield superintendent was grateful students spoke up and that the school was prepared. We have many drills for this very purpose, and our drills are for our staff as well as for our students. And what we saw today was the actualization of those drills. One parent expressed her concerns regarding the priorities of the school. Hemphill needs to get it together. They need to get us parents closure, and we need to make sure that our kids are safe when they leave us every morning. They're spending millions of dollars for a renovation, but they have no um, security for us as far as metal detectors. State Trooper Cliff Greenfield encouraged parents and families to use the Safe to Say Something app and hotline for students to unanimously report when they believe a threat is for a school or classmate. Those three students are 15 year old sophomores and being treated as juveniles. The DA will soon decide what charges they will be facing. In Greensburg, Alexandra Todd, KDKA TV News.